<laughs> well, Coach, 7-7 seven, seven at the half. Bring me into that first half and that low-scoring affair and just kind of what your takeaways were from that. You know, it was just, you know, I think it was a lot of nerves. I think we came out with a lot of nerves, a lot of anxieties to begin with on the team. Um, we were able to battle, though. Um, our kids hung tough, you know, and, you know, we talked about it at halftime. I said, guys, the difference is going to be character. If we go out there and we play with character, we stay together, we can win this football game, we're in our control. It's all about us and all about our character. And they showed unbelievable character the second half. I was speaking with Jackson, your quarterback, about it, and he said on, on that drive in the second half where they had 44 yards to get a first down, yeah. he said he just felt like at that time their team had kind of disbanded. You talked about character. How did your team hold serve and stay together and not get frustrated as well? This is something, you know, that's something we talked about. We were, we were, you know, we were getting a little frustrated there. You know, at the end of the half when they scored, when we talked about in the locker room, and, I, and we had some seniors there that have been around that know what it's about. We had a lot of juniors, as we talked about today, that are stepping up, and, you know, they're able to pull together. Jackson's pass that really opened up that that lead, that 14-7, to 7, just bring me into that play. He said that he went to run, pulled it, and then just went back, saw his receiver. Bring me into that play. What's the way to do it? He has the option. Yeah. He has the option to give it. Pull it and run it. Pull it and pass it. It's you know it's a pure read on him and, and what he sees he goes with and he's going out and he does it a lot. That's you know he does some amazing things when he does that and that's what happened. We know that Bevel likes to run the ball and you yeah. guys ran it right back. Had huge runs down yeah. the stretch to not only get the lead but sustain it and hold on to it and run that clock down. Just what you can say about your rushing attack and how it's multiple. Uh, it just got stronger and stronger as the game went on. You know we had to clean up a couple things. Um, they did that. And, you know, one thing we tend to do is we tend to wear teams down. You know, I thought that happened today. I thought we wore them down. And for you to now know that you're going to the Dome preseason, yeah. people said CBA CNS, and now we're getting CBA CNS. Bring me into the feeling of going to the Dome. I, does it, I mean, every, you have so many opportunities that you've been there, but is this one that Everyone's uniquely? Everyone's special. Yeah. Everyone's special. You never take a minute for granted because you don't know if you're ever going to get back again. You know, you enjoy it, you soak it in. Um, we're going to enjoy it tonight. Time to get some work done starting tomorrow. We know that 42-41 game. What sticks with you the most? As the, as I heard from Jackson, he said we got a chip on our shoulder. I think I think our kids are going to be dialed in and focused. They're going to be on the bit this week. And we're going to go out there, and I believe my kids are going to play the, the hardest they can play, play their butts off, and let it go where it may go. What do you want to say to the community? Guys, come to the Dome, support us, let's rock it. CBA thinks they have all the fans. Show them what the North Star Nation's all about. Let's go set this place on fire.